So why we say this is described in the hadith to show you it's beyond your imagination. The Quran says, فِيهَا مَا تَشْتَهِيهِ الْأَنفُسِ In it is whatever is desired by the souls. وَتَلَذُّ الْأَعْيُنِ You see, لَذِيد. What does it mean? Something that's tasty, isn't it? It's لَذِيد. تَلَذُّ الْأَعْيُنِ is a description that doesn't have an English to translate it, to be honest with you. Because I would say, for example, whatever is tasty to your eyes. But the reality is, you don't taste with your eyes. Do you taste with your eyes? No, we taste with the tongue. But whatever you see, you want it, you feel like having it, it's already there, it's sweet to the eye, it's attractive to it, it's yours. In, 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 in this world, what's attractive to your eye is not yours, always. See, what's attractive to your eye, whether it's a vehicle or something, look, we, we're trying to be decent here. <laughs> whether it's a vehicle or whatever else it is, subhanAllah, it's not necessarily yours, it's not yours. And the, 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 one of the weaknesses that show that this world is nothing is that if you have the best of something, within a minute you see something that you might now think is better, suddenly yours is nothing. It's happening. You have the latest mobile phone. It's the best ever mobile phone. They can call it an iPhone 6, the one that just came out yesterday. <laughs> And what happens? You will have it and you hold it and you're so excited and the guy next to you has an iPhone 7 and you just put yours in your pocket. <laughs> and you're looking at the other one and saying, that cannot happen in paradise. No, because your own spouse, for example, will be changing as per the sweetness of your eye and its liking. Subhanallah. So you want tall, it suddenly becomes tall short, it suddenly goes short, Allahu Akbar. You know why? This way, that way, this color, that color. It's like, you know, changing with the, a flick, not even a flick. Sometimes you have uh, these apps that you get on your computers where you want to change something and you try 10 different, you know, uh, say for example, I'm just going to throw an example, a motor vehicle you want to purchase and they tell you what color would you like and they show you 10 different colors and you're clicking to see what it looks like. Click another color, click a third color, click. That click may happen such that your eye automatically chooses the color of the spouse, how it is liking it. And at the same time, as a moment progresses and the eye finds it sweeter to have a different color, it happens that way. And something described that is even better and more mind-boggling to show you that it cannot have crossed your head in the proper sense. All this we are saying Bearing in mind that in reality what we are going to have is far better than whatever we are describing here. Imagine. So what we are saying, mashallah, it's something. Remember we've heard of how, to, how important it is to work towards this. Because what's the point of talking about this when we are distant from it, you know? One narration says whoever has drunk the wines of this world, you know the alcoholics, the khumur that you have, will not be drinking that in the akhirah, which is prepared. So, if you do something here, you might not have it there. And yet Allah says, you will have whatever you desire. So some of the uh, ulama have explained very beautifully that the, the cord of desire of that item is just removed. So you won't desire it, subhanallah. You see, we might have three million, four million desires. One cord is removed. You won't feel that I'm not desiring this item, but you won't desire it because that little cord is removed because you did something in the dunya. You won't know. But others would know what it's like. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness. So, whilst I look at something, say, say for example, a spouse, may Allah grant us the whole. It wasn't loud enough, my brother. It wasn't loud. May Allah grant us the hood. Oh, that sounds more like it. Remember, they're no sisters today. Don't worry. So, whilst we would like to look, for example, at her at, with a specific, for example, shape, you know, the, the words described are so, so powerful that we feel shy sometimes to say, you know, the entire detail, because brothers might say, you know, tonight I won't sleep, brother. <laughs> what are you describing it? You know, Allah says, Uban atraban. Allah says, Kawaiba atraban. These words have deep meaning. Sometimes, if you were to read the Arabic language in depth, you would actually blush while reading the meaning. You know, subhanallah. Describing the movement during a sexual act. Describing the movement, Quran, there is a word, subhanallah. Describing the perfect shape. Subhanallah. 
describing elasticity. This is something very, very deep. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. You and I know that the virginity of a woman is connected to a hymen here, here, physically, so to speak. Whereas it would be such that Allahu Akbar, I hope everyone here is married, Ya Mashaikh. Allahu Akbar. It would be such that every single time a person would be in that pure act, you know, it is not an impure act as is considered here in the dunya where you need a bath thereafter. There, subhanallah, it is described as so fulfilling. Let's stop there, inshallah. So fulfilling. You know, you might be looking at me and saying, well, why is it not fulfilling here? Subhanallah. The reality is so fulfilling that it is mind-boggling beyond your imagination. In the dunya, you won't get absolutely what you like, how you like, and so on. No. You may have the most beautiful, you know, uh, wife, alhamdulillah. If she has worked together with you to earn paradise by the will of Allah, if you are together, Allah knows you may be having one another by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But at the same time, we need to make sure we work towards it. You will have something absolutely perfect. And say, for example, if there is a color or a shape or a size that you would like to see your spouse in, you will suddenly find your spouse with exactly your speck in your mind. And your spouse, if your spouse would like to be a, a specific speck for your spouse, he or she will be, meaning speaking to the, the sisters or the brothers, will be exactly as they would like to be. So one thing, but appearing as two different shapes to two different people. You want to be something, she wants to be something, she is what she wants to be and you are what you want to be. It, it is to you what you would like it and it is to her what she would like. Allahu Akbar. So there is no confusion. There is nothing that can happen that is to the dislike of anyone. The word dislike does not exist. I don't like, I cannot know that does not exist. Subhanallah. So this is just some, it's just the beginning, the start of it. You know, the calf, the calves which are just underneath the, 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 the back of the knee, subhanallah, described as the color of the tusk of an elephant, meaning ivory, subhanallah. But ivory of what nature? The purest, almost see-through, we would say. With the hur, if I can spend a few more minutes, the voice is according to your taste. How you would like it. You know, you have a voice, and this is why we say the voice of a woman is aura fitness. And you know, at times, unless she speaks like a man. <laughs> so, fitna, in the sense that it's, it's sometimes so attractive that it can cause a sleepless night for a young and upcoming adolescent. Allahu Akbar. Maybe even adults. But my brothers, you need to know that the voice is such, it is not just attractive, but it is according to what your senses consider the most highly attractive ever. Subhanallah. This is why when people say, will I be with my spouse in, you know, this woman who's been nagging me all along, is she going to be in paradise with me? Hey, you know, you're reducing the value of paradise. The reality is you don't know. I say wait and get there. Work towards that. Allah will not let you down. Never ever. Because you have what you want. Whatever you want, you have it. It's yours. You worked enough, now it's time for payment. You worked a lot. Now it's time for payment. And how is this payment? Wallahi. The sound, the scent, you know, the smell. Sometimes you have, you know, for our sisters, the hadith is loud and clear. If a woman walks out of the home wearing a perfume and so on and turning the head, she is equivalent to one who has committed adultery. It's a hadith. We cannot deny it or debate it. You know, it's, it's something that is very scary. But in Jannah, you will have a sense, not turning your head. There's no point to turn your head. Brother, it's yours. You don't have to turn. It's in front of you. Allahu Akbar. You look this way, it's there. You want to look that way, it will be there. In a split moment. Subhanallah. It's yours. It belongs to you. It is controlled not by your voice. 
Not by your iris, but by your thought. Imagine, subhanallah. By your thought, you're thinking and things happening. I don't think they're ever going to develop something of that nature, subhanallah. Today we have, you know, senses, you, you walk near, the gate opens, you know, where you look at it and it opens, you touch it, it opens, things happening. This is technology. But come up with something, you think about it and it's there. Every time, as you're thinking, and it doesn't get stuck, you know, here, oh, the battery's not working, you've got to now fix the battery. No, everything is completely perfect, done. And this is why we say the scent, the sound, the look, the clothing, the jewelry, absolutely everything, not only hers, but even yours. And she will look at you as she would like to see you. And you will be as you want. So it's something, it is a perfect condition, in fact, higher than perfection. It's created by Allah as a gift for us. After the period of test, which lasts on average 60 to 70 years in this ummah. So are you ready to bear patience for between 60 and 70? A lot of us look like we're between 20 and 40 here. I think the bulk of us, it looks like that from my eyes. So you've got a few more years to go. Subhanallah, be patient. And the beauty is if you've done wrong in the past, engage in tawbah. Here it is. Here it is. What will you get in return? Whatever you wish for. Beyond description. Subhanallah.